What's up, y'all? Happy Taurus lunar eclipse new moon. Okay, so I hope that this energy has been good for you as much as it can be. I mean, it's it's benefic, it's benevolent. You know, the moon in Taurus is better than, you know, it's um that means it's um working beyond its optimal function. All right, so at can in cancer it's good but in taurus it's better so this energy is is, is eclipsing a lot in our lives you know but more so on an internal level it's not necessarily it, it's happening on the outside right but it's through a very internal dynamic so the shift in a sense it's it's a reflection it's not um not that if it was a solar eclipse, it would be, um, it wouldn't be a reflection, but with it being a lunar eclipse, it's literally coming from within, right? This is probably things happening in regards to decisions it is that we've been making, um, whether that has been for the benefit or not, you know, whether or not it has um, served the people around us, Right. There couldn't be like any places that we've been stubborn is drastically revealing itself. Wherever it is that we have been allowing things to build up and taking our time and really investing in, because um, Taurus is a lot about investing in the self. All right. And sometimes investing in the self means working with other people, you know. So with this, um, with this North Node also being there and the South Node being in Scorpio, it's just like, how you been going about within your relationships and this and the other, but I'm gonna get more into this Taurus moon energy on the Taurus new moon pick a card that's gonna be up this evening on my YouTube channel. So I just came to share some stuff. So, I basically, the website, it's not shut down, but it's now, it's just only my blogs. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, spiritual oracle blogs and then like living. And then when I have yeah. group gathering events, that's on there. And there is an about me on there where you can join me over in Patreon where you can receive what was once on my website, right? Uh, because... I prefer to work with people in that way. And when I know someone is there in Patreon, I know it's because they really want to be there. It's not because, you know, they're curious or anything like that. No, they recognize that um, what I do, what I offer, who I am is a good fit for what they're trying to make happen in their life, what will support them in their life, right? And I appreciate that. And I feel like the people who are they're appreciated as well you know so um it just takes out everything so it's like if you're not on patreon any of the services <clears throat> right any of the services that i have i join me on patreon right? join me over there so um and, and we can work it out and then uh, work through whatever it is that's going on, you know, and here on Instagram, it's just going to be me, like social media. I'm living my life and I'm sharing my life, right, with social media, the things I want to share anyway. So that's what's going on because that allows me to have the time and the space it is that I need to do life in the way that I do life. All right, because when I made that video last week, you know, I had had all these like, oh, aha moments, realizations, like, this is what I'm going to do, but it's the, like, how you going to do it? And I've been figuring that out and I figured it out and this is what's happening, all right? These are decisions that I have been thinking about for a long time, like maybe since last year or something, because last year I was thinking about shutting down Patreon and only letting people uh, connect with me through booking services but uh, I, as time has passed it made sense for it to only be in that way right so I've talked about what all is over on Patreon on the last video that is below this one under my videos tab however Instagram got that set up now and um or no the last post that's on my page so 
yeah, I just wanted to come and share that, that update. And um, I will be finishing up the readings over on YouTube. That'll be happening over there. And I'm, in the meantime, I'm going to be working on some other stuff because in the summer, uh, Patreon is going to shift a little, like the, the price is going to increase. And um, we are going to also add some other stuff in there that I talked about in the other video as well. And I just, I need to take some time to figure out what level, how do I want to go about doing it, right? In regards to um, what people may want for it you know, what they may be open to, I guess, is, is some things I got to consider. And talking about it right now would just be a whole, a bunch of word vomit. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you guys, um, I think that's everything. This was just a short video of sharing these updates on this Taurus new moon. That is what's being eclipsed. The, this moon is in my 10th house. In my intent house about career, public image. Okay. It's about success, achievement. It's about the structure of things, right? The foundation of things and how it's going to support and hold up things being able to happen uh, in an efficient and a um, capable way, like, right? That allows longevity to be there. And with that, I had to consider my energy and my output in what I'm receiving, what I'm allowing myself to receive um, versus what it is that I'm giving out and just where I'm at with all of that within how I perceive these things, right? Needing to have the correct, in a sense, understanding, seeing things from a higher perspective, the entire full scope, right? And But also considering the details, which is really what um, Capricorn, which is the um, highest expression of the earth signs is right so Capricorn rules the 10th house but I have Taurus there so this is about me you know recognizing how I can be present in the way in which it is I want to be present how I can take my time in the way in which it is I want to take my time what feels good to me what feels right to me where are my senses aligning and how it is that I need to go about doing X, Y, and Z you know, so yeah, y'all, I hope y'all have a beautiful new moon over these next, however, what, three days, you know, this cycle will carry us through to uh, the, what, Taurus full moon in Scorpio season, so yeah, I hope y'all plant some wonderful seeds, something that's going to grow, bountiful, remember, be patient, let it take its time, make sure that you're nurturing it, caring for it, you know, like a baby, it's the newness. You're coming out the womb when it's new, when it's the new moon, right? And beginning to grow within it. So over the next 14, 17 days, um, we're building up to fruition, right? Of, you know, we're recognizing who needs to, who we need to work with through this, who we need to connect with through this. If, do we need money from other people in regards to a thing, you know? Right, because Taurus is a lot about our possessions, what we have, right? What what we spend, what we make, right? And sometimes that includes other people, Scorpio. When the Scorpio full moon comes up in um in what is it in May, I believe. It is in May. I gotta see when it is. Let me see. No oh, shoot. Yeah, because um, when when the moon goes into Scorpio for the full moon, it's going to let us know when is the, um, what's been hidden, not when, what's been hidden, what we haven't been able to see, you know, what needs to be transformed, what needs to be released, right, that's weighing us down, where is there a power struggle in regards to what we're trying to achieve on a personal level in regards to our resources, you know, so let me see. Well, you know, we keeping up with uh, the movement of the planets as you once were. 
this is this not there. So okay, full moon May 16th. So 16 days. So today is the last day of um, what is this, April? Is this the last day of April? What's today? The 30th. Yeah, it is. I was correct. Okay, y'all. Y'all have a wonderful day. Um, and if you have any questions in regards to the changes um with the services and patreon just hit me up um you can send me a direct message it's fine <laughs> but you can also email me um or you can you know that's the other two only two options right now so y'all have a wonderful day y'all have a wonderful weekend okay and i will talk to y'all and see y'all really soon bye